and welcome to Surrey TV. My name is Charlotte Stent. First Great Western deny rumours they are pulling out of the Surrey line in response to recent scaremongering by the RMT. Regarding the Gatwick to Reading line, a spokesman for First Group told Surrey TV that the statement by Bob Crow was completely baseless. He went on further to say, We are currently in discussions with the Department of Transport in respect of the extension of the First Great Western franchise. The franchise in question includes the Gatwick to Reading line that spends a large portion of its journey travelling along Surrey's Mole Valley. The line provides an essential connection for villagers that connect to London trains at Guildford and Red Hill. The line also provides Mole Valley villages with an important link to Dorking and Reigate. In recent years, First Great Western has provided a very reliable and busy service and to suggest that any change is on the agenda is simply pointless. Huoni travel is not affected by trouble in Egypt. In recent weeks, there have been an escalation of violence in Egypt, particularly in Cairo, with the security forces trying to clear protesters. This escalation, as reported in the mainstream media, has resulted in a number of fatalities and arrests. The situation in Cairo is not good. A curfew was declared within certain governates in Egypt between the hours of 7pm and 6am, with everyone being asked to remain within their hotel grounds. These restrictions do not apply to the town of Sharm el Sheikh or any of the Red Sea resorts Qoni continue to feature. There have been no reports of violence or demonstrations in the Red Sea area of the country. Unfortunately though, all excursions have been cancelled in the Red Sea resorts for the next 30 days. And this is due to the current situation and the instability in the region. All transfers to and from the airport are unaffected. Qoni is working closely with its ground agents and are keeping customers informed of any local restrictions. The Qoni operations team will continue to monitor the situation and follow ABTA and the Foreign and Commonwealth Office advice and updates. John Lewis and Waitrose customers back the horse rangers. John Lewis and Waitrose customers have used their buying power to support an equine charity that helps young people learn to ride and look after horses. The Horse Rangers Charity Association received £1,080 cheque from the John Lewis Community Matters Scheme that encourages customers to choose between three good causes to raise awareness of the work they do. These choices are made by giving green tokens to customers at the checkout. After adding all of these tokens together, the Kingston branch of the department store was able to donate cash to the Horse Rangers Charity based at Hampton Court. Anna Horton, Development Manager at Horse Rangers, said, We'll use the money to support our hard-working horses and ponies. Receiving this cheque means so much to us and will help us to provide greater benefits for our local children, young people and those with special needs. The Horse Rangers Association supports the personal development of children and young people, regardless of background or ability, by teaching them to ride and look after horses. Surrey Roller Girls are celebrating after winning a Mars Milk Fund award. The Surrey Roller Girls, a roller derby league based in Guildford, are celebrating after receiving a £300 donation from the Mars Milk Fund. The team topped the voting league last week to win the Mars Milk Fund People's Choice Award. After competing in a number of closed door bouts and regional tournaments, the Surrey Roller Girls are hosting their very first open door bout on 5th October at the Spectrum in Guildford. This will be the first time that the public are able to watch the girls compete on home turf. Stephanie Brown, owner of Roll With It, an online roller derby store, and a member of the team says, we are so happy to have won the People's Choice Award, Mars Milk Fund. Roller derby is such a fun sport and we would love everyone to come and watch us play at our event in October. We rely on donations and fundraising in order to operate, so this donation from the Mars Milk Fund will help enormously. It will go towards the cost of hiring the hall for our bout in October and towards new equipment. Steph Brown went on to say, 
We'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who voted for us, friends, family, colleagues, and the rest of Derby community. Without your votes, this wouldn't have been possible. The Denby's Wine and Run event is soon approaching. Not two things you would expect to be put together, but yes, Denby's award-winning wine estate will be running the fourth annual Bacchus Marathon on the 8th of September with events to live of Ashstead, the only race of its kind to be held in the UK. The Bacchus Half Marathon combines running, wine and fun. If you are passionate about any of these three things, then this is the race for you. With the breathtaking scenery, just prior to the grape harvest at your backdrop, entrants will be able to sample Denby's award-winning wine as they traverse through route running through the spectacular scenery of the Surrey Hills and North Downs. Kelly Walsh, Denby's events manager, commented, This is designed to be a real fun event. Fancy dress is encouraged and there will be a post-race hog roast to add to the party atmosphere. That date again is September 8th at Denby's Wine Estate in Dorking. Entry forms can be completed inside Run to Live shop in Ashstead or via the Events to Live website at eventstolive.co.uk. Wings and Wheels at Dunsfold Aerodrome. The summer event is here. Wings and Wheels will open its gates at 9 o'clock on Saturday the 24th of August. That's tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday for the sensational 2013 show. During the five hour flying display, visitors will experience the magical sight and sound of aircraft, both new and historical. We spoke with James McAllister, whose team organized the show last week. Hello James, can you tell the viewers something about this year's show? Well, we've got a fantastic lineup for this for, for this year on Saturday and Sunday. We've got, um, in the air, we've got the Red Arrows, uh, we've got the Vulcan Bomber. Uh, we've got Typhoon Jet, we've got a number of helicopters, um, all the usual phenomenal kind of uh, vehicles on the ground, um, fantastic display and we've got a number of new things actually for 2013, we've got some battle reenactments, we've got some vehicle parades in front of the crowd so it's all very exciting. Since we spoke to James, his office tells Surrey TV that the Royal Netherlands Air Force B-25 Mitchell bomber that was stationed at Dunsfold in the 1940s will be flying in over the weekend and that the amazing glider FX aerobatic display will take place on both days of the show. A glider performing aerobatics. Now that's something to see. There is something for everyone at Wings and Wheels and they have even added some evening entertainment with live bands for those that aren't in a hurry to get home. Tickets are still available for both days via the gate or at a variety of outlets listed at wingsandwheels.net. Go to the ticket page from the menu on the left of the screen and click how to buy. We'll see you at the show as we will be filming on both days. Our full report will be in next week's news. We'd like to thank you for watching this launch news, a brief introduction to how we would like to present the news to you. We know there is a lot more going on in Surrey, so I would like to ask you if you know of any good stories, a positive, interesting and relevant story, please email the Surrey TV team or let us know via our Twitter account or Facebook page. Details are on this site. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next week. Keep well and enjoy the county.